Let's go ahead and look at one additional example for testing the significance of the correlation coefficient. This time we're going to use an alpha value of 0 0.01. And again, I've already calculated the R value for this particular problem to be 0.82. So if you'd like, you can pause the video and calculate using your calculator the correlation coefficient of 0.82. Once that is done, the next question would be to interpret that correlation coefficient. So remember that we're trying to decide if 0.82 is close enough to positive 1 to conclude that we have a positive linear relationship. So let's go ahead and go through our steps. Remember that step 1 is to write your hypotheses. And remember that your hypotheses are always the same two statements. Our null hypothesis says that the correlation coefficient of the population is equal to zero. And our alternate hypothesis says that the correlation coefficient of the population is not equal to zero. Remember that if we decide that we are going to go with the first hypothesis, that that hypothesis says that there is no relationship. We know that if the correlation coefficient is actually equal to zero, that that is our conclusion, that there is no relationship. If the correlation coefficient is not equal to zero, then that means that there is some relationship that exists between the two variables. The next step is to find the critical value using table I in your textbook. So remember that we're going to do a number line, and we're going to look up that critical value from the table. So on the table, you're going to do DF being 2 less than your sample size. So there are 5 data points in our sample, so our DF is going to be 3 and they're telling us to use an alpha value of 0.01. So you can go ahead and turn to your table and look up that value. So we should be at 0.959. So we're going to mark it off as both a positive and a negative value. Alright, once that's done, then you're going to add in your correlation coefficient that you calculated. So remember that we said that that was 0.82, so I'm going to mark that off. That will be not quite to the 959. Note the rejection region of your number line. Remember that if your mark had been over here or over here, that we would be rejecting the null hypothesis. And so since our 0.82 is not in that rejection region, for step four we're going to say do not reject the null. So when we say that we're not going to reject the null, we're saying that we agree with the null hypothesis. And so our conclusion here would be that there is no relationship. Which means that when I'm looking at an R value of 0.82, that I would conclude that it is not close enough to positive 1 to conclude that there's a relationship. That it actually falls back towards 0, where we say there is no relationship between the variables. Now, I want you to pay attention to this in the sense that in the previous example, our R value was 0.77, and we said that there was a relationship. And here our R value is 0.82, which is even closer to 1, but we're concluding that there is no relationship. So you want to keep in mind that you really do have to test 
the significance of your correlation coefficient for a particular problem to know how you're going to draw that conclusion. If there is no relationship, we do not proceed with any additional test or calculations for this data set. So when we get to the next section and we're doing a regression analysis, if our conclusion is that there is no relationship, we do not do a regression analysis.